bring it back around to you. Dylan, obviously a lot of the attention on Micah with Tate being hurt. Just how do you feel like he's approached this preparation, getting ready for the big game that's happening? Yeah, he's, we've, you know, done a great job, you know, just all across the board. I think, um, you know, we, you know, we do what we do, you know, we, we uh, prepare how we've always prepared, you know, for any great opponent. And um, I think just all across the board, we've done a great job you know, so far this week. Dylan, I thought in games of this magnitude, uh, I imagine, you know, the cost of the meter, most of them are probably the same in the in games like this. What do you notice about the way you could just go back to the dead? Is it something that the entire team that will kind of kind of feed off five? And how does that work, that five work, being in games like this with Carson? Yeah, I mean, his, he's just very poised, you know, at all times. Um, I think that's just a trait that he has uh, naturally. I mean, he's just a very poised person. You know, I think, you know, adversity is going to come. You know, that's just a guarantee. And uh, he does a great job of just kind of calming us down just in the huddle, you know, in those little – tiny moments that uh, he can control what we can control. So he does a great job with that too. You know. Dylan, what was your takeaways from how the offensive line played against Kentucky? Um, I think there was adjustments that, you know, we made that, that, that helped us. Um, but I think overall, I mean, we need to perform better. You know, we need to perform more dominant and, um, and, and, be able to make those adjustments sooner, you know. It's a big part of football is making adjustments and, you know, being able to make those after one or two plays is a lot more essential than a couple drives. So I think just making those adjustments is a big deal. Yeah, Dylan, how has Jared done so far to start the season, particularly when it comes to communicating things uh, to the rest of the line and to Carson Beck? I say he's done a great job. I mean, you know, I think communication is a big thing that we have to work on just all across the board. I mean, including myself, you know, I mean, we're going to play in hostile environments. We're going to play in, in, in big games. It's just part of our schedule this year. And I think um, relaying the calls down the line is a big thing that I know I need to work on myself. So Jared's done a great job. You know, I think uh, just relaying calls down the line is going to be the key. You mentioned the communication. Is there been any more emphasis on that communication, whether it's fall camp or the offseason, just knowing you guys are going to play in Tuscaloosa, in Austin, in Oxford? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think just, you know, going through what we did, you know, last week and um, our game one, you know, communication has been a thing that we've tried to emphasize since fall camp, you know, and, um, you know, kind of like I said, just relaying the calls, being able to communicate with, you know, signals and all, and all different types of things that you know maybe non-verbal communication is um a big thing that we've just worked on you know what's your uh obviously the history of georgia and alabama has been pretty intense here in recent years what's your first memories of sort of this rivalry and uh just what does it mean to you when you hear georgia's play in Bama? i think my first thought, I mean, if I had to think of like a game, I would think of the first national championship they played in um, when Coach Smart first got here. Um, you know, like you said, like it's, a, it's, this is going to be a big game. You know, it's, it's, it, they're a really good opponent and um, I'm just excited. You know, I'm just really excited. You know, it, you know, I think this team is taking on a role of um, enjoying hostile environments, you know, and, and trying to go there and, 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 it, you know, embrace it, embrace just being in an environment like that, so. What's the biggest difference you guys have seen in prep for this defense versus the one that you faced last December in Atlanta? In practice? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say there's been, you know, a huge difference in preparation. I mean, we're going to prepare how we do, you know, from week to week. Um, you know, crowd noise has been a thing that we've, we've really, really turned up. You know, we want to be able to play in those hostile environments and play in those tough crowds and um, be able to communicate, you know, when it's loud and, you know, fans are going crazy. So I think just crowd noise is a big thing that we've started really working on. Dylan, uh, 
doing one uh, coach start was in here. He talked about just how you guys have practiced and you know, not needing to tell anybody how important this week is. But what, what has the energy been like at practice this week, just getting ready for this game? Yeah, it's been intense. You know, I mean, every Tuesday is intense. So, you know, I mean, you know, this week has just been as uh, intensity is there. You know, I think the energy is there. Um, you know, all the pieces to that puzzle are there, in my opinion. I mean, we just got to keep approaching the rest of the week with intensity and, and, uh, and energy. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, what's it like to practice against Jalen Walker, especially when he's able to do so many different things and can be all over the field? Yeah, he's he's a monster. I mean, he's you know, he's one of those guys that he can rush from a three tech, he can rush from a five, a wide nine. I mean, I'd put him over a nose, like as a nose guard too, if you wanted to. I mean, he can really do it all, and um, he's a big person, but he he moves a lot better than what he you know looks like he can. I mean, he's a really stocky type build and. Um, you know, it, it makes us better. You know, I love I love the fact that we have guys like him and, and Michael and Ty and Christian Miller and just all the guys that we have. I mean, to just iron sharpens iron, you know, and I think it's awesome that, that we get to see each other every day. Dale, this isn't meant to have to come across as a gotcha type question, but how much is the team aware of, I guess, of comments made by Jay Miller after the game last year and how he felt the team went during the game? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're aware, for sure. We're aware. How did you react when you heard those comments? Put my head down and grind. I think that's the attitude of our team, you know. Just put our head down and grind. Have any more for Dylan? All right, Dylan, thank you. Thank Thanks, you, Dylan. Thank you all.